Hello there people, this is going to be a tutorial to fix the black screen error, which I'm guessing a lot of you have. When You know when you start up Minecraft and it doesn't give you the Mojang symbol, all it does is give you the uh, just, just a black screen, like so. So for the purposes of this video, what I did is I installed a mod without deleting meta.inf, which is the most common way of getting the black screen. You haven't deleted the mata slash... Uh, INF to install a mod, and as you can see, it freezes. This is the black screen, which most of you have been getting, and it's a huge problem for some because, as you can see, you get error codes, and it pops up, I believe, inside of it might be in your program files. Anyway, you get a message or a little icon in your desktop giving you the log file. Well, I'm going to show you how to fix this. So before you do this, back up any worlds you have. So to do that, go into percent update to percent. Uh, it, this works in all versions, and it should open the roaming folder. Or just go to this location if you have revealed hidden folders. And then it will present you with a .minecraft folder. In here is everything which is necessary to save. Well, most of it is a bit pointless. This, this is the only folder which you're going to need to save or back up. So to do that, all you do is right click, press copy, and then paste it to a save location, like so. Now there's two ways of doing this. The first way is to do it like I'm going to show you now. So when you first start up Minecraft, you should have the little options button at the, uh, the bottom right. So click that, and then see where it says force update press force update and it should say will force and then all you have to do is log in again and it will take time to download the packages necessary so this is replacing the minecraft.jar file inside of the .minecraft folder which is where all your corrupt files are as I say it's mainly due to people not deleting the mata-inf folder and if you do this correctly you should have everything you had before including worlds so there's my world which I'm using for my Let's Play video. Uh, I'll provide a little caption or an annotation up here somewhere. Uh, the second way to do it is if you've backed up this world. If, if, the, if that method fails to work, then there's only one more step which you can do to save your Minecraft, which is to delete the .minecraft folder. Before you, before you do it, back up the saves file everything else is rendered pointless you do not need anything else unless you want to save some texture packs or anything else or your optifog uh, or these files in here these are going to give me my settings for optifog but because minecraft 1.8 is coming out soon i do not need them so yes yeah, so the second thing to do is to delete this folder and this is the, i'm going to show you that i am deleting this folder and then it'll take time to delete it. It's not particularly big. Now Minecraft will start up again. Just go into Freen again. And all you have to do is log in. So I'm going to log in on my data now. And it'll download automatically. There's no need to force update because there's nothing to force update on. It's just going to replace the files. So it should be loading around now. Minecraft will start up. And you notice that you have no worlds. So the next step is to go back into the percent .apt data percent thing, which I've made a a nice little shortcut to. And all you have to do is replace this saves with the saves you've already created. So just merge them. Let's just check if this works. and it should work and there you go so I hope this video helps you to resolve your errors if it does well done if it doesn't comment and or send me a message or both or leave a comment on my channel saying what the problem is and I will do my best to research it and help you out so comment rate and subscribe people this is the mighty orange say goodbye